Hello, everybody. And yet, here we are again. And this place we call Kitchen. So, just a normal place. But, I got a little guy over here. And he wants to say hi. His name is Mr. Bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. Hello. Oh, well, Mr. Bear, you're about to be with my friend Jack. Jack, say hi. How you doing? Well, what are you guys doing together? Honey, Jack. That's you guys look Oh, look at that. You guys are friends. Oh, well, what this bottle of barrel proof is, let's make everybody cry. Here's one shot. What happened to my kitchen stays in my kitchen. I'm not making moonshine sauce. I'm making homemade barrel proof sauce. Enjoy it. Hey, gotta get the honey guy in here. Oh, I lost, I lost my top. Help! All oh, my brains are gonna spill out. What else is in here? I won't tell you. But roughly, oh, that's a good stream. What do you have all? Roughly about two teaspoons of honey. You gotta get that sugar in there to counteract with the alcohol. Uh, let me close you up. Oh, thank you. You put my brain back. Well, I feel a little lighter. Well, what you're asking, what this is all going on, yeah, is making making homemade sauce. But, uh, got some nice beef fillets. Well, that one's just starting to stand up. Hey, lay down there, guy. Slow going. 295. Hence, this is my glaze. Pretty much use the same recipe I do on my moonshine. But I figured, you know what? I got a bottle of barrel proof sitting here. Might as well cook with it. So I know a bunch of people out there are going to be hating on me for cooking with barrel proof bottle, but you know what? You want good food, you gotta, you gotta spend the money. Good money on alcohol, good money in food. Works both ways, Penny Alavaca. No one's making Penny Alavaca with a bottle of Georgie. Let me tell you that right now. Quality ingredients get you quality flavor. Remember that. Tip of the day.